Mr. Monka. Today, I will be showing you how to make your very own medieval manuscript. Yay! Now, last week's episode on how to make your own blood eagle was met with a, a lukewarm response and several parental complaints, but we are back and raring to go. First things first, we're going to need our parchment. If you don't have your own sheep to skin, store water to Now remember that the biggest and best bits of parchment tend to be around the back and the neck of the animal, so keep those intact when you're stabbing away there. <laughs> We're then going to take our skins and dump them in a nice big vat of chemicals. You can really use anything for this. Quick lime, rotten vegetable matter, anything to stop those nasty little bits of putrid flesh getting into your nice, clean manuscript. Just ask at your local hobby craft if you're not sure what to use. <laughs> <laughs> then we're going to stretch out the skins. Now, kids, please do remember that the tools we use to clean and prepare the parchment aren't really sharp, so do ask a grown-up to help you. To procure such items. <laughs> Here, personally, I like to use oak ball ink. Oak balls are formed when wasps lay their eggs in oak trees, and our unpaid intern has just gone to go and get some. No work ethic. <laughs> now we can start copying out our text. You can write anything. The Bible, the works of classical Rome, your ex's diary, anything you want the whole world to see. <laughs> <laughs> this shouldn't take you too long. Maximum of a couple of decades, which is, coincidentally, the amount of time I feel this segment has been going on for. Now we get to colour things in! Yay! We use all sorts of fun materials for this, like arsenic, this really corrosive verdigris stuff for green, and this lead which gives this absolutely gorgeous red colour. Oh, just a die for. <laughs> <laughs> now, I have to tell you, because the network said I have to tell you, don't eat the books. Can't overemphasize how bad that would be. Don't eat the books! Ten years old. I'm sure you can draw something really accurate that no future student will ever laugh at. <laughs> and we're done. Once you have your manuscript, then you're ready to show it to the world. Then uh, back to your monastery to wait to get invaded by the Vikings. And that's <coughs> all we have time for today, kids. I know, very, very sad. But do join me next week when I'll be showing you how to make your very own medieval kingdom. Make sure you bring your weapons and an appetite for extreme, unprecedented violence. <laughs> bye bye now! <laughs> this program was sponsored by the cause for Paleography Part 2. Brandon, <laughs> <laughs>